What's up, everyone? This is the Pop Culture Junkie back again, and I have a special unboxing to share with you today. Now, we're not doing a typical subscription box unboxing. Instead, we're doing one of these specialty boxes brought to you by Loot Crate, and I'm sure you can already tell by the lovely display I've set up for the video here what we're going to be talking about. That's right. Today, we are talking about the Stranger Thing Limited Edition Crate. Uh, based on, of course, the Netflix phenomenon that is Stranger Things, okay? The insanely popular, amazingly awesome Netflix series that you can only watch on Netflix. Uh, you can get the first season on, like, Blu-ray and DVD now, I think. But you can only watch the actual shows on Netflix when they come out. It is an awesome show. I love it. I've seen both seasons. My wife and I basically binged watched both seasons in a couple of days every time that they came out. It's a great throwback to the 80s with lots of classic music and uh, lots of Easter eggs if you're a fan of 80s movies and TV shows and such. Well, Loot Crate, of course, released a special edition box crate, whatever you want to call it, uh, based on, of course, Stranger Things. And we've been waiting on this for quite some time. They announced it back in, like, June or May even, I think. I can't remember. I think it was, like, June. And then we were told it was going to be arriving right after the second season dropped. And the second season of Stranger Things dropped at the end of October around Halloween, and we are now on December 9th, and we just got the box in the mail. Uh, so, been waiting on this one for quite some time. I'm very curious to see what kind of items are inside here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what's inside the box here. Let's see if the wait was worth it. All right, on top, I feel we have a t-shirt. So, let's check that out. So, basically, this is a baseball shirt, but it's a long sleeve shirt, unfortunately. And I do not like long sleeve shirts at all. That's unfortunate. I don't wear long sleeve shirts. I try not to wear long sleeve anything if possible. I just don't care for myself. So here's our shirt. We got upside down, uh, which is upside down there. And then we have friends don't lie. And there's 11 there in her more emo goth look <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. And then we see we got the boys down there. We have Mike and Dustin, Lucas and Will. 1984, of course, is the year that the season took place in. I gotta say, it, the shirt just doesn't look that great. It's not not something I'm really happy about. Yeah, this, not the best shirt that I've seen um, that they could have gone with. Yeah, I mean, I think her face looks good, but that's it. And then the friends don't lie quote, I like that. But the rest of it, um, yeah, I'm not really impressed with. And I don't like that it's a, a long sleeve shirt. Let's go on to our next item. And so we have a, feels like we've got a plush doll. <laughs> okay, uh, so we have Barb, a plush, and she's, uh, <laughs> okay, real quick, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Stranger Things, we're going to just be uh, completely open about the show. So if you haven't seen the show and you don't want spoilers, stop watching, come back later. Uh, but of course, this is Barb, the best friend of Nancy Wheeler. And this is obviously Barb after she's been attacked by the Demogorgon and is you know, dead, of course, and in the Upside Down world. Uh, there's still rumors going around that she may come back. Oh, look at this. They even have the little bandage right here on her hand. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, that's a good detail. Uh, if, you've, if you've seen the first season, you know why. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, I, there's still rumors going around that they're going to bring her back somehow. Uh, I'd like to see that. Let's see how they do it. Next item, we have... We have a box that just says Stranger Things on it. Uh, on the bottom here, Loot Crate exclusive Netflix official merchandise. All right. Oh, we got socks. <laughs> uh, we have Ego Waffle socks. <laughs> so Ego Waffles, of course, is a big uh, prop in the show. Uh, Eleven loves them. And look at this. We have Ego Waffle design socks. That's pretty sweet. Got the Stranger Things logo, Netflix logo there. That's nice. And then there's a second pair of socks in here. And these are brown with a light brown color. And, uh, oh, oh, that's so cool. So this is my favorite quote from the show, in case you're wondering. Uh, this is from Hopper in the first season. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. You can see there's, like, donuts. Uh, let's see, I just saw a, yeah, I see a little flask. Yeah, could be a coffee, but it looks like a little flask, like we're drinking. Those are pretty good. I like that. All right, our next item. I got another box, and this is Eleven and Mike on a bicycle. Um, is this a like a statue or an ornament? Okay, so this is just a little uh, mini figure statue type thing. 
And we have Mike with a very weird look on his face. And Eleven looks frightened or worried. And, uh, yeah, it's just on his uh, bicycle. Uh, I don't like the way they did Mike's face on there. And Eleven, she looks more scared than menacing. And, you know, she doesn't really look scared that often. She's pretty... She's pretty badass, actually. She doesn't need to be scared of a lot of things. Uh, it's a cool little figure, though. It's, it's different. So, I like that. It's, it's good to have the characters like that. Next item out of the box. Let's see. We got another box. And this is, again, from Artist Series, just like the one from the... Uh, so, this is made by the same company that made the Eleven and Mike. Oh, this is the Eleven versus Demogorgon Loot Crate Exclusive. Now, these are ones they were either selling. I don't think they were giving them away. I think you could buy them at a uh, comic convention. Uh, I'm not sure which one. It was L.A. or New York, something like that. There was a recent big comic convention. Maybe it had been San Diego's. I don't know. I think Loot Crate was there, and they were selling or giving, again, probably selling, these uh, Stranger Things dioramas where it's, uh, it's from season one with Eleven versus the Demogorgon in the classroom and we received one in our loot crate box I think in August or September and that one had a same design and everything except it was in like regular colors I'll show you a picture real quick but then this one is the upside down world colors so there's two different ones so I'll show you here there's so here's the upside down world version so you have 11 there she's got her hand out got the little drop of blood coming out of her nose you have the demogorgon coming out of the, of the wall there and then there's a little base here Let's get this out there we go so there's the upside down world version of it and then like i said the other loot crate one the monthly one had one that was more bright colors because it was like just normal colors not upside down world where everything's dark and menacing and such so that's very cool it's the same exact Design. It's got the jagged teeth like the other one did, but again, this is just a different color. It says on here, Loot Crate Exclusive Edition. They made 10,000 of these, and this one is number 3,721. Not sure how many they sold at that convention, but obviously they still had some left over to put them into this thing. Do we have anything else? Yep, we still have more. Okay, we have... A uh, four-pack of buttons of Stranger Things, of course. We have Hopper, the police chief. We have Max, that's the new character from the uh, second season. Stranger Things, and then the AV Club, which is all the boys there. Excellent. And next we have... Uh, let's see, we got Stranger Things, Hawkins Middle School. That's the school the boys go to. Composition Journal. So we have a little journal there you can take notes in and whatnot. So that's nice. Okay. Okay, this is nice. So we have Stranger Things, 11 photo cards, two stickers, scenes from season one and two. So it's a pack of trading cards done in the style of a pack of cards from the 80s. On the back here it says, open the curiosity door, turn in 84 chocolate pudding lids for your very own sensory deprivation pool. Offer expires October 31st, 1984. Well, we just missed it. Obviously we're going to open this up because we have to see what these cards look like. These look a lot like Ghostbuster trading cards. If you remember what those looked like, the Ghostbuster 2 especially, those were the ones. Uh, these, the, the, the cool border around it, you know, just images from the show. So here's just images from the show itself. Uh, Hopper's got a hunch. Trust in Dustin. Pooling our resources. Lucas on the lookout. Arcade Army. Hanging with Mr. Clark. Okay, so it looks like Season 1 cards have red. And then Season 2 is in blue. So you have the blue border for the Season 2 cards. Okay. RC Attitude. Okay. Alright, so the last two cards, we have a small version of the original poster, which actually I've got right there on the back wall, you can see. I have a little mini poster there I got with a... Uh, actually, I got that from Rotten Rentals. And then we got a small version of the Stranger Things Season 2 poster. And also, I just noticed on the back here, on the back of all the trading cards, there are little scenes, and you could build your poster out of these cards. I'm not sure if it's going to have the entire scene. I mean, I would hope, because you can't buy these, so I would hope they have the whole thing. 
I'll put this together in a minute. We'll see if it's got the entire image you can build. This is our last item, I believe. We have... We got two items in here. We've got Hint. They don't want fruitcake. Loot Crate. Okay, this is just a coupon. The last item in the box, we have our cheat sheet card. And on the back of the card is the drawing from Season 2. If you've seen Season 2, you know what this is. But that's the uh, drawing that uh, Will has. And then on the back, we've got our cheat sheet to let us know everything should be in here. Okay, before we wrap things up, I did want to check out these cards and put them together and see if we have like a full image like it shows on the back here of these little poster version cards. So let's see if we can actually build a complete image. Otherwise, it just seems weird to send us cards that you can't buy anywhere and then you can't actually make the full image out of. So let's see here. We got the bottom of the poster here. So we have Stranger Things 2, so that's going to be this one right here. Let's see if it makes a complete image. We have that one. We have the middle one there. And this one here just is a uh, little dialogue on the back. Let's see, we have another dialogue on the back there. Okay, I think we are going to have a complete image, possibly. Let's see. There we go. Here's top of that one there oh look at that okay excellent okay excellent so cool so I can get a uh, sheet a little uh, card holder and put these all in there together and actually have a full image just like you see there so it looks just like the little poster there that's very good. Um, okay, I thought at first this one should be a poster as well, but the image on the back is the same exact one. You can see there, those two images are this right here. So Okay, excellent. And then we just have two other cards uh, with uh, some information on them about whatever scene is in the uh, image. So cool, you have a little mini poster you can put together out of the trading cards. Okay, so let's check out everything on our cheat sheet card here. So we have the 11 versus Demogorgon uh, diorama here we go that's the loot crate exclusive one that was only available at a convention and now we have it in the box here we have the creation crib 11 and mike figurine on their bicycle we have the supreme emo plush upside down barb 11 and the boys punk raglan that's what they're calling the shirt there which i don't really care for and i didn't like that it was a long sleeve shirt we've got the 11 and hopper sock set those were pretty funny hawkins middle school journal I like that. Okay, that's going to be useful. Stranger Things trading card wax pack. Okay, you go. You can see the cards here. A little package there. And then the Stranger Things 80s concept button set. Okay, so that was a pretty good box. I enjoyed it. It's uh, Stranger Things is, again, it's a very entertaining, addicting, binge-worthy show you can watch on Netflix. I will say uh, little things I'm disappointed in is... It's cool to get this item because it's exclusive from a convention, so that's pretty cool. If you didn't order their monthly box where it came in there, then that would be even better. But now I basically have two of these, even though they're different colors. It's not really any different. It's just the color. There's no difference in, them in the, the design. The figurine with Mike and Eleven on their bike, that looks kind of weird, actually. It's not something I would ever have bought from a store. It definitely would not be something I would have gone out of my way to buy. Now, what I think they could have done instead of these things here, obviously, is give us a exclusive pop that's only available in this box. That would have been the best option there. Uh, you could have had Bob. Hey, Bob was a big character in Season 2. How about a Bob exclusive Funko Pop or a Bob and Joyce 2-pack or something like that? Could have been a lot of options they could have gone with uh, instead of these figures. Okay, I do... Do you want to say I, I think that would have been the better way to go? I love the Barb plush. That's a really cool looking plush. The buttons in the journal and the trading cards, those are good fillers. The socks are nice too. Um, but again, I don't care for the shirt, and I think the figures could have been something else, something better, and uh, something more of what people already are collecting. So I think that would have been a better choice to go with in my opinion. But let me know out there what you guys think of the box itself. Let me know, do you think the items are good? For a specialty crate, how did this you know measure up in comparison to other specialty crates that we get? Uh, especially, go check out the South Park one I did last year. I thought they did a great job with that one. It had a giant Professor Chaos figure and some other stuff in there that was really cool. But what do you think in comparison to this guy? If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Remember, you can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
Well, thanks again, as always, for watching. Take care, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the holiday season as much as I am. I'll see you on the next unboxing or unwrapping. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, guys. See you later. Take care. Pop Culture Junkie. I'm signing out.